Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to set up Google Analytics using the Cocos Helper. It's really simple to set up Google Analytics so you can track your application, see what your users are doing, what they're not doing perhaps, so you can modify it and get more user interaction and engagement. So the first thing you want to do is actually go to Google Analytics and once you're on here you want to go to the admin page, you want to create a new property and then you want to select mobile app so just put in a name so hello name select category games whatever you're doing and now just select your country so for me it would be the united kingdom and it would be london get tracking id and this is the id that you're going to use to put in your code so you can actually send data to Google Analytics. We're not going to actually be using this one simply because we're going to be showing you real-time data. It's the same as data that's a day old or two days old but we find that if data or I mean if you've created a Google Analytics application and you try and start using live data it doesn't work for us so if you wait a day or two and then the, uh, the live data starts working so that's the reason we're going to use one that we created before so if we just go to property settings we're going to be using this id right here we'll use that afterwards first of all what you want to do is actually add google analytics to this so if we just go to sonar cocos helper the ios framework folder you want to extract the google analytics dot zip which i've already done so copy and paste this into just go to your project go to the ios folder ios and i've already got it right here so oh, it's empty so i'm just going to get rid of that paste it in here now you can just add that to your ios project make sure all the options are set up like this click finish next step is to go to settings just enable google analytics next to it it shows you all the frameworks that you're going to need we'll be dealing with that in a moment we're going to put our tracking id here so copy and paste that into here make sure there's no white space at the start or the end so we need the core data and system configuration dot framework so go to your project build phases link binary with libraries so we need core data dot framework system configuration dot framework we also need the lib z and the lib sqlite i happen to i happen to know that the lib z is already added so i just need the lib sqlite there's two there you just want the regular free not 3.0 and we need lib google analytics lib add id and there if you have a look added by default and the reason they're added is because if we go to this google analytics framework folder in there the files are that's where they reside and as a result of adding this to our project it's a basically added it to the library section in build phases so the final frameworks that we need is add support and i add so if we just go here do add support iad.framework and this is just if you're going to be tracking some advertising so it's great to have it all set up initially and now we're all set up it's that simple you want to go to your scene and we're going to start sending some data so cocos helper google analytics first one we're going to deal with is set dispatch interval by default data is sent to the google analytics analytics servers every 120 seconds which is two minutes for most games and applications that is fine because you don't want to throttle your network or google analytics servers though the big if everyone's doing it that's not going to be good but more so on the user's network usage you don't want to do that uh, any lower than i don't know 60 seconds but for the purpose of this video and just testing we're going to set it to one second so we don't have to wait two minutes and then we're going to do cocos helper google analytics I'm going to do set screen name. This allows us to set the name of the screen we're on. As our scene is called Hello World Scene, we're just going to call this Hello World Screen. I'll 
Pop and pop. Oh yeah. And finally, I'm just gonna get rid of the code in the menu close callback and do sonar cocoa cell pad Google Analytics. And we're gonna send an event which takes four parameters: category, action, string, and I mean label and value. Label and value are optional. Category and action are required. Even though if you don't put anything in label and value, just put something like zero and empty quotation marks in here actually put some data so in here we're going to put uh, okay button has been clicked so this is a way of identifying what sort of an event has occurred and now the action will be more specific so menu close button so we know that the menu close button has been called for string when I leave it empty value I'm going to put zero so if I run this application now, we're all set up. You'll be sending data to the Google Analytics servers every second. We'll, we're setting a screen name and we're gonna send an event. As you can see, one hit was sent and that hit was referencing the set screen name. So if I click this a bunch of times, as you can see, one hit has been sent. If you scroll up, more hits have been sent. So if we now just go over to our reporting tab overview in real time if we just wait for this to update so it shows our live data with the screen name here and if we go to events we'll be able to actually see the event that we triggered before so if we just wait for a moment Again, even though it's real time, it's not like that millisecond that a certain event is triggered and sent to the Google Anal Analytics service. It does take a little bit of time, so that's just something to bear in mind. So we've got the scene right here, and we'll see a bar pop up in a moment, but we've got it right there, top active screen, hello world screen, oh yeah, and if I were to click that, you can just get some more data basically you can just filter out that particular screen so you can see what the users are doing how many users are on it the sort of interaction per per views or in terms of per minute per second if i go off that and if i were to go on to overview that's what we got here and if we go to events this is the event that i clicked before so we got we had seven events button has been clicked see that's the category and that is the action so that's Google Analytics for you so if I just go to audience overview this is basically data from several days you can do weekly monthly check older data see if you got returning users new users how many times uh, I mean the average session duration all the other stuff country city app name and all all of that all that good stuff most of this will get populated a day or two later uh, whereas in real time you don't have as much data as the audience because generally in real time you're not going to need that much you only want a little bit of data so that's how you set up google analytics using the cocos helper so if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk for slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description to it so you don't need to remember it also there will be a link in the description for setting up cocos helper if you haven't already done so for ios and there will be a separate video for android google analytics so as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have an amazing day